Tell me about abortion. Where do, where do you stand and how will you face that issue as a um, uh, It's going to be very difficult. I, I do not view abortion as a, uh, um, as a choice and a right. I think it's always a tragedy. And I think that uh, it should be uh, rare and safe. And I think we should be focusing on how to limit the number of abortions. And they ought to be able to have a common ground and consensus as to do that. I think the vast majority of the American people think that can be done. Um, but unfortunately, we're put in a position you either eliminate abortions under all circumstances or it's, quote, abortion on demand. The fact of the matter is I've never known of a woman having an abortion and say, by the way, I feel like having an abortion. It's always a tragic decision made, always a difficult decision. And I think we should focus on how to, prov how to deal with women not wanting abortions. I might point out, when there was economic prosperity and growth, the number of abortions went down by 300,000, if I'm not mistaken, during the Clinton administration. And they've gone up during the Bush administration, in large part because of the economic stress and pressure placed on people who become pregnant. And so we should be focusing on how to make it more hospitable for women to want to carry a child to term uh, than we should be on eliminating under any circumstances the woman to be able to make that choice about whether or not to carry to term. This week, the Supreme Court, with Samuel Alito in his seat, uh, took the late-term abortion partial birth abortion case. Well, I, see, I'm a little, I'm a bit, bit of an odd man out in my party. I do not vote for funding for abortion. I voted against partial birth abortion mm -hmm. to limit it, and I vote for no restrictions on a woman's right to be able to have an abortion under Roe v. Wade. And so I am, uh, I've made everybody angry. I've made the right to life people angry because I won't support a constitutional amendment or limitations on a woman's right. Uh, to exercise their constitutional right as defined by Roe v. Wade. And I have made the group, uh, the women's groups very, and others very angry because I won't support public funding and I won't support partial birth abortion. Well, sometimes making everybody angry is okay. Well, right. let me put it this way. I, one of the things I decided a long time ago, and it's going to sound corny, uh, but you have to be happy with yourself. You have to be able to look in the mirror. And I think what I'm doing is right. I, uh, I have my own personal views on abortion, but my view of imposing my views on that I accept on faith based on other God-fearing people uh, seems to me to be not what my sworn oath is to do. And uh, so for me, uh, keeping government out of it completely is the way to do it.